Hi, welcome to theboardshop.co.uk surfboard review. Today we're looking at the Channel Islands Almeric Sampler surfboard. At last, uh, a practical usable surfboard from CI. Um, it's been a little while since there's something that actually grabs your imagination and you think that is a good looking surfable board that's going to fit into my quiver where there was a gap beforehand. So it's not a groveler uh, and it's not a conventional shortboard. It sits somewhere in between. It's like a groveler plus, if you like. Um, <coughs> shape wise, nice proportion board, not too, uh, wide points not too far forward to prevent maneuverability. Uh, and then into this tail, it's a nice wide-ish old school squash. You can see the hip is a little bit further forward than it used to be on the dumpster diver, which this board's loosely based on. Compared to your normal short board, it's thicker, wider, uh, a little bit more volume to get you going in weaker in uh, poorer surf conditions. On the bottom, single concave runs through the majority of the board into a little double through the single and then V out of the tail. And you can see on the rocker line it's pretty flat, but there's a nice bit of lift out of the tail, which combined with the fin positioning, where the rails harden up and this little hip with the concaves gives you a board that actually is much easier to turn than the dumpster used to be when the dumpster used to feel a bit boggy and a bit clunky to turn. Um, the sample isn't like that at all. It is a real step forward in terms of working it off the tail. Tight turns uh, and boosting airs, if that's what you've got in mind, uh, are absolutely accessible on this kind of board. Um, who's going to surf it? Um, a guy who's got a grobler but wants something for that um, knee to kind of chest head high range when you don't want to get on your short board because it's not properly lined up, it's going to fit right into that little pocket. It's going to be the board that for the majority of the surf we get, you're going to surf more than the, the other boards in your quiver. <coughs> so it's a really good practical um, addition to most people's quiver. It's for a mid intermediate and up kind of surfer. Um, it's not your first time short board that you're going to jump on off your mini mount or pop out or whatever but it does fit in um, very nicely. Um, this is a 510 at 31.12 uh, litres. The 58 is um, 28 or so litres, so it's a well-proportioned board. The volume and the length combination should work for most people. So, uh, the Channel Island Sampler, a really decent addition to your quiver, fits in really nicely, and for that knee to kind of shoulder head high range of wave size, it's going to be a good practical option. Um, yeah, nice little board. It's been very popular so far, and the feedback is from customers who have already had one and surfed it a bit in our kind of waves this winter, is that it's faster and looser than you would hope or imagine it might be, so it's performing really well. The sampler. Um, Fin-wise, nothing too stiff in this board. That widest tail doesn't need a really super stiff, upright carbon fin. Something in the mid-range uh, performance core or Neo glass range from uh, FCS will be fine in this FCS 2 setup. A uh, few people surfing it as a quad, but most people surfing it as a thruster seems to be working better that way. Um, you can, of course, custom order um, whatever size fin setup configuration you want, all on the customizer tool on the website. Same price as a stock board, no extra charges. Uh, you can trade an old board against it, and you can even buy it now, 0% finance. Uh, again, all the details are on the website. Ah, so there it is, the sampler.